It's Monday again. It's Heather and it's your Monday challenge. I'm really excited to dive into this one with you. So last week we started off my vulnerability ladder and I invited you to ask for help or seek support with something that, you, that, that you've been grappling with for a while. So guess what? This week is about receiving help and support. Ah! <laughs> This is about you accepting something needs to change, right? So moving out of, okay, I'm out there, I'm going to ask for some support and help and being able to receive it and all of the brilliance that comes with receiving help and support. So what I mean by that is the minute you allow somebody to take something off you or the minute you allow yourself to share what's going on with you with somebody else is then the point that then you are giving that person permission to support or help you in that area. And there's a big, big difference between being out there and asking for it and also being available to receive it. And I know receiving help and support giving yourself permission to receive help and support is probably the scariest second step on the vulnerability ladder because you are at that point working on the thing that you wanted help and support with and you are also having to lean on somebody else to know that the right thing's going to come of it um <laughs> I mean, I don't want to, maybe, maybe it's useful. I did a session on trust last week um, with my business group. And the thing is, you know, being able to receive help and support does suggest that you're in a good place in terms of your trust and you're centered and grounded around trusting. But I know it's really tough to let go of something so whether it's you're delegating something to somebody else and you will allow them to do what they need to do because you've asked them versus giving it to somebody else and then having to check every five minutes whether or not they're doing it right um the same as you know if you're reaching out for help in terms of your personal life and support there then the trust has to come from you that the person that's going to come and help and support you or talk you through stuff or be there um is is gonna is gonna be comfortable to do that and also that you're gonna build a stronger relationship with that person the minute that you do reach out so you need to receive whatever they're gonna offer in terms of solution in terms of um options of how they can help and support you so I'm inviting you, I guess, to be open to receive. And this could be definitely around opportunities. We, When we don't have the ability to connect with others very well, and we're really trying to stay hidden and, and not really out there, then it's like a really big challenge for us to have a connection with somebody else, um, kind of meeting them where you're at or, or being able to have yourself meet them where they're at. Um, so receiving also allows you to create a better connection with somebody else or a better connection with a member of your team or a better connection with an organisation that you're bringing in to do some work for you. So being open, being out there and ready to receive is your second step on the vulnerability ladder. And I'm really, really inviting you to lean into this one because I know that it's really tough. Um, Handing over two projects last week, I really struggled to like let them go and just have somebody else focus on something for me. So what I had to ask myself, and this might be a good one for you to use as well, is if I'm saying yes to having this person and receiving this support, then what does it allow me to say no to? Right? And the answer I came up with was being able to say no to having to work an extra two hours a day, for example, to share my content or to create my content and share it wherever I need it to be shared. Um, so I'm saying no to working like a lot 
around marketing and sharing information and I'm saying yes to being available to support more people on a one-to-one -one basis or in a group um, and be out there more for people like that I support so so that's the question I had to ask myself when I had to let go of something and receive be in a place to receive support and help so that's your second um, step on the vulnerability ladder. Um, this is your Monday challenge for this week. I look forward to hearing how that's gone for you. This is Heather. This is your Monday challenge for this week. Good luck. See you soon.